to introduce Machu Picchu. It's located in Peru in South America near the city Cusco, along the Peruvi Peruvian Andes Mountain. It is one of the most famous Inca architectural and cultural heritage. The, the Inca civilizations which built the Machu Picchu flourished the Andean region of South America from 15th to 16th century. The empire was governed by a single ruler, the Inca Emperor, who was believed to be a descendant of the sun god Inti. And Pachacuti was the nice ruler of the Inca civilization from 1438 to 1471. One of his most famous accomplishments was the construction of Machu Picchu. It was built as a royal retreat and a religious sanctuary. It was for it was located in the high in the mountain, away from the center of Inca political power. <coughs> and due to its strategic location, Machu Picchu was a great example of fortification, which is a structure or system of structure to defend against enemy attack. And in Acancha, it's a a great example prevailing example of fortification in Inca civilization which has these uh, stone built uh, houses and then the stone wall around it to uh, protect from enemy. And Machu Picchu can be seen as a bigger version of Cancha. And Machu Picchu was abandoned in the late 16th century around the time of Spanish conquest of Peru and was largely forgotten until the early of 20th century until it was re rediscovered by Hiram Bingham, an American explorer and historian. Machu Picchu sits in between the Machu Picchu Mountains and then the Juana Picchu, and then the Urbamba River floats up below it. In vertical elevation, it's 7,920 feet above the ocean lines, and in its long Long uh, across its 1,739 feet, and in its perpendicular direction, it's 656 feet. To study Machu Picchu, I want to first raise the questions How was the significance of different architectural style and techniques used in the construction of Machu Picchu? To answer this question, we first have to study the Iku Ashra. Iku Ashra is a technique that is used in the building stone walls of Machu Picchu. It's, um, it means that the stone are cut to fit precisely together uh, and without using a mortar. And the precision of these stone walk, stone walk work is particularly evident in the trapezoidal uh, doorway and windows that's tilted inward to withstand an uh, earthquake. There are 18 different types of uh, stone walls in Manchu, in Manchu Picchu, and here is some uh, example of them. First, you can see a, a carved out uh, stone stair, and these are examples of precisely fit together stone wall. And this one, uh, the holds in a small holds on the wall, it, it's for the water fountain. And this uh, the big cloud from the wall, it's a window on the wall. And this a uh, uh, bigger holes on the wall are for drainage systems. And compared to those uh, fine masonry and these rough stone are for the foundations, uh, for the foundation of the wall down the top. And compared to uh, those uh, 18 types, there's also special building stones in the building. For example, this uh, ring stone, it's a piece that holds the door to the doorway and help operating operating uh, the door. As you can see better in this joint, here's the, the ring stone and there's a rope type to the wood in front and then it helps operating the door. And then uh, in addition to the famous 12-sided stone, there are also 30 stone with 32 angles, and this uh, stone's in a hourglass shapes. It fits precisely in between 
these uh, two giant granite stone and also uh, and also this uh, rounded shape curved stones it's also a really uh, precisely cut stone and how they uh, get all of these stone uh, they all start from sourcing the Inca they sourcing their stones from the quarry and then they took the stone and cutting the stone into smaller pieces by first uh, putting this uh, wooden wedges in the cracks and then they use the hammer hamlets they use a hammer a wooden stone hammer to pounding the wedges into the cracks and then they will use uh, water to pour onto the wood as the water the wet wood will, will expand and it will deepen and and whiten the the cracks and until finally to cut the the wood uh, to cut the rock and also they will use these te techniques uh, by uh, freed a block from its bed and by chiseling the bottom out and propping the freed section with pile of small stone and also they have this techniques using uh, the tools to uh, smooth smooth out the stones called percussion and after finally uh, all the, the stone are cut and ready to uh, transport they will build this uh, temporary ramp cut to connect to the site and they will use uh, this wooden ladders placed on the floor to transport the to transport the stone to a higher higher area. And also, they will use this technique uh, by wrapping the stone around the wrapping the rope around the stone, and then by using manpower to pulling the stone onto uh, other area. Another uh, archit architecture uh, design style of Machu Picchu is the extensive use of terrace terraces and water management system. And Machu Picchu is split into two sections, which the left side is the agricultural section, and then the uh, the right side is the urban section. And and th in this image, it's a reimagined. Uh, of the cities of Machu Picchu, and Machu Picchu sits uh, in between the two peaks, which uh, it gives this uh, rugged terrain side condition to the to the city. So the uh, the Machu Picchu have to adapt to this um, rugged terraces. So as as you can see, the city is in these uh, terraces uh, structure. Which from the right, from the left side is higher, and to the right is uh, lower. And the Inca uh, architect construct an impressive network of water management system, which they will uh, allow them for, to collect, storage, and distribute water th throughout the site. First, they will begin sourcing the water from the natural springs and rainfalls through uh, this uh, channel system that building uh, around the cities. As you can see in this image, there's a water canal that's uh, transporting the water through the city. And then with those water uh, canals, it will pass through these 18, uh, uh, 16 different uh, water fountains. So you can see here the water will come out from the holes. So through all those uh, water canals, the water can bring, can bring to uh, uh, everywhere in the city and also uh, it has a really complex uh, subsurface water drainage system on the uh, agricultural terraces as you can see here they have uh, three different layers of the soil and fine gravel and the median gravel so it will, uh, it will allow the rainfall to, per to percolate through the ground into uh, the ground beneath and then the Inca civiliz civilization believed that the movement of the solstice 
celestial bodies and including the sun, moon, and the stars, has a significant impact on their life and natural natural world. One of the most important roles of astronomy and celestial alignment in the design of Machu Picchu was the track of the movement of sun throughout the year. The Inca observed the solstice and equinoxes, which mark important agricultural events such as planting and harvesting, and designed their building and structure to align with those events. For example, uh, Intihuatana, it's located on top of the Intihuatana uh, pyramid, and then uh, it's a pillar-like structure, which you can see here. Uh, uh, it will place at a precise angle so that on winter and summer solstice, the sun will align perfectly with the stone, casting casting no shadow, and this is a way for the Incas to mark their changing season and ensure that the agricultural practices was in sync with the cycle of sun. The Incas also believed that the celestial alignment has spiritual significance and so many of their temples and religious structure were designed to align with the position of specific star or constellation. So the rune of three windows uh, capture the position of sun on certain dates, which would have been important for religious ceremonies on uh, and rit rituals. And here's some uh, image that show uh, those windows uh, capture the the framing the scene of the Machu Picchu. And also, the Temple of Sun. It's a unique uh, semi-circular structure only for the priests and high-ranking Incas to worship their Sangha. Machu Picchu is a great cultural heritage from the Inca civilization, but recently it was closed again after the COVID-19 pandemic closure due to political protests. The nationwide indigenous-led protests began in December when Peru's Congress host former leftist president Pedro Castillo. The indigenous, the indigenous Castillo supporter led protests in Machu Picchu, claiming that increasingly amounts of visitors have ruined the cultural heritage. I think it's a really great experience for everyone to have a chance to personally go into Machu Picchu to study this masterpiece, but local governments should raise attention on site preservation and spreading knowledge to visitors the history and architectural techniques of Machu Picchu and let uh, more people share the knowledge and let this cultural heritage pass to the future generation. Thank you.